where we stand on um, things in the wake of the August 14, 2018 grand jury report into clergy abuse and cover up. Um, as, as you all recall, uh, we unearthed 301 predator priests, thousands of child victims. Um, what you probably don't know, which I want to share with you, is what has happened since then. I can tell you from my conversations with attorneys general around the country, there will be a lot more to come and that they are finding the same patterns and practices as we had here in Pennsylvania. Um, I have met personally with former Attorney General Sessions and with Attorney General Barr. The feds have launched a probe. This is as inspired as I am by these survivors and the extraordinary courage that they've shown. Uh, I am profoundly disappointed in the State Senate of Pennsylvania, and in particular the Republican leadership of the State Senate of Pennsylvania, who seemingly continue to take their direction from the insurance lobbyists and uh, the Catholic Church lobbyists. The Church has elected to spend millions of dollars of their money, of parishioners' money, to lobby against these reforms. And then some of the dioceses are playing a shell game with properties and trusts and other things uh, as a way to um, you know, f find resources to, to pay out these settlements. What I can just tell you in general about the Harrisburg Diocese is they have been one of the most problematic dioceses to deal with. This bishop has stood in the way of progress. He tried to stop our investigation. He tried to stop the report from ever coming out. And he has spent, uh, maybe not personally, but collectively, millions of dollars to lobby the legislature to stop them from passing the grand jury reforms. That's outrageous conduct for someone who purports to be a spiritual leader and care about people.